Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk more about Auto Chess. Auto Chess, man, Dota Underlords, Team Fight Tactics, Auto Chess Mobile. Let's just keep going. Different titles. This is part three of our ongoing series. If you haven't checked it out, check out our first two videos. The first one was on basics of Auto Chess, and then the second one was on loot rounds, items, and passives. This one, this particular video, is going to be talking about buying and selling, as well as scouting your opponents. These are very, very important things when you move from beginner to more intermediate tasks. Uh, this is why we got it as video three so to buy and sell first let's talk about the shop the default hotkey for the shop on dota underlords is space bar and i believe it's the same on dota auto chess you bring up the space bar and i highly recommend if you're playing on pc go into the options and set it to the pc interface because i believe by default it has a mobile interface and the buttons are really big and you can't see the board not one of my favorite features about dota underlords but if you hit the space bar with the pc option it shows a bar along the top which shows all the available units that you can can buy your gold is your currency we haven't talked any about anything about gold in any of my previous videos but at the bottom right you can see how much gold you have in dota underlords the other auto chess games have uh, their currency somewhere else on the board uh, but the premise is the same so each round you are given a certain amount of gold that you can buy and sell units with i highly highly recommend that you scout before buying too many units this is why in auto chess the pool of heroes is shared so if someone decides to go all warriors or someone wants to go assassins or hunters and you want to go the same thing you're going to be competing with them to get the units from the pool the store is only going to show what's available in the pool so if you've got three or four people fighting for the same units you may not get an effective build that you want to do so the proper technique is to scout you need to scout to see what people are doing in dota underlords you can use the tab key to tab and look at different boards and see what people have in dota auto chess you can bring up an interface that shows everybody's units and what they have on their bench that way you can scout and see what people have so if you want to go warriors and somebody else is going warriors or two other people going warriors you might have to rethink your strategy or change to a different unit comp this involves shifting or pivoting people have different names for it when you need to shift to a different composition and the default hotkey to sell from your bench is e or you can drag and drop the units appropriately to the sell icon you hit e to sell the units that that you want to get rid of so there's a lot of strategy involved with this and i'm not going to go over all the different strategies with, with selling until we get into more advanced topics later on in different videos but scout your units see what somebody else is going and the easiest way to do this in in dota underlords is to look at the synergy icons select the energy the synergy icons on the right side and tab between the different boards once you do that you can easily see what people are doing whether they're going warriors where they're going warlocks whether they're going hunters control you know different builds and different compositions that we talked about synergies you can see what your opponents are doing that way you can know what the pool will allow you to to get now let's talk about the concept of re-rolling the shop this is a very very important topic because it baits new people all the time a very very common thing that new people do in dota auto chess and and dota underlords is to re-roll too much you you see the shop and you're like okay i'm looking for i'm looking for a puck or i'm looking for a pudge so you re-roll the shop and you just keep re-rolling until you run out of money that's a recipe for losing uh we won't talk about economy in this video but it is going to be a future topic where you need to sell and you need to probably save for certain situations buy and sell and save in certain situations make sure you scout and don't re-roll too often uh the default key to re-roll the shop is r on dodo auto lords or um, <laughs> i was gonna do it the default key to rerolls are in dota underlords and auto chess i believe as well if it isn't i apologize i believe that's what it is don't go crazy and don't go overboard rerolling and scout your opponent's units and try to adjust accordingly if you're going to stick with it stick with it if you're not make plans to adjust your your bench to shift to another unit composition by using the hotkey e to sell the units that you want to get rid of and buy new ones and reroll the shop until you get what you need this is where the rng really kicks in in the game <clears throat> it's very unpredictable as to what you're going to get from the shop but you have some control over this by scouting what your opponents are doing what they're getting and you can adjust as needed this is born from born.tv talking about buying and selling and re-rolling the shop and also scouting your opponents to see what units they have so that you can adjust your builds appropriately take care have a good day